A Clearwater woman is behind bars after being accused of renting a house that she didn't own to someone who had no idea. Police say these kinds of crooks and schemers are preying on people who are desperate to find a place to live. News Channel 8's Chip Wasowski at the Pinellas County Jail tonight with more details on what you might call the fake landlord scam. Yeah, Keith, this is crazy. Currently, Iwalina Drozd is facing one count of burglary of an unoccupied dwelling, but police say this is an ongoing and active investigation, and they're looking into the possibility that there could be additional victims. I was furious at that time. Like, I'm so careful, and I've been paying attention so much because I've already been to so many houses that were scams. Harry Whitfield still can't believe she fell victim. She first toured this house with Iwalina Drazd on Magnolia Drive and then this house on Belcher Road. This was the house. It had a pool and everything. We went in, I looked around, it was perfect. It was a little bit older, but it, it fit. You know, it gave me space to work out of. I could have an office. It's like, yes! So Whitfield, who, by the way, is a notary, used to viewing legal documents, signed on the dotted line. There wasn't a single red flag. We signed the lease agreement. She wrote me out a receipt for my deposit and my first month's rent. And we said our goodbyes. She handed me keys, and we said our goodbyes. She returned later that day with her husband and daughter to surprise them, and she was the one who was truly surprised. And there's a gentleman standing outside with a big truck. And I'm like, hey, how are you? How can I help you? He was like, I'm here to meet the realtor and start on renovations. And I said, come again? Like, excuse me? I said, I just rented this place this afternoon. She called Clearwater Police and detectives arrested Drozd. She appeared before a judge this afternoon and told the judge she should not be in jail. It's illegal to keep me here because I have no uh, regular procedures by, by the police officers. And coming up on News Channel 8 at 6, we talked to Clearwater Police about how you can prevent from becoming a victim in a case like this when you're trying to find a new place to stay. Keith? What about the money in this, Chip? Was the victim able to get any of her cash back? Yeah, actually, she, Carrie shelled out $1,800 for a security deposit and her first month's rent. Clearwater Police, they were able to get her back $1,600 because the suspect in this case went to Home Depot and bought a mini fridge with $200 of her hard-earned cash. All right. Chip Osowski reporting live for us. Thank you, Chip. A